All right, in this video, we're going to show you how to bleed the hydraulic clutch line on a Harley Davidson touring bike. Um, it does use DOT4 brake fluid, and because of that, you should do it at a minimum of every two years, preferably every one year, because the brake fluid does break down. Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to level out your uh, master cylinder for your hydraulic clutch. So we're just going to turn the handlebars all the way to the right, leave it on a jiffy stand. And that way that levels uh, your, your master cylinder out. Then we're also going to want to take something to cover our tank. And if you have lowers like I do, which end up falling just about right under that master cylinder, you're going to want to cover that up as well because uh, brake fluid will eat through paint quite readily. We're going to remove the outer side cover. And there's only two screws here. So we're going to take those out to pull that off. All right, once you get the screws out, you got to kind of do a twist operation here to get this off. So if you pull it out and twist upwards, you can take that off. Okay, once we get the outer side cover off, um, that gets us down to our secondary clutch, clutch actuator, which is this piece right here. Um, we're going to do a little bit different than we do with uh, bleeding brakes. We're going to actually push bleed this. So we're going to put a, a syringe onto our bleed valve here. And we're going to push fluid through the line. This is your line that goes up to the master cylinder. All right, after you get the outer side cover off and you're ready down at the uh, transmission, you can come up here and take your master cylinder cap off. Being very careful not to drip fluid everywhere. Right. So you can see how dirty that fluid is. And this is about two years on this. Um, that's why I really ought to do this about every year instead of every two years. Okay, before we start uh, pushing new fluid through there, we're going to remove uh, almost every bit of this with a, uh, with a syringe. This is going to be the same syringe we used to push the fluid through too. But this, just, uh, th this is going to help prevent it from overflowing and getting all over your bike. All right, so we're, we're gonna pull it all out of here. Since we're push bleeding, we're not gonna have to worry about air because if there's any air in the line, which there won't be what we're doing, we're gonna push it out into the master cylinder anyway. Okay, now in preparation for our bleeding, we're going to put our syringe in a new bottle of brake fluid and we're going to fill that up. As you can see, I got one little bubble in here, so you can you can work it around like that and thump it. Once you get the bubble up towards the top of the tube, because there's fluid in that line, so I can come out. Just put it back into the bottle and push the syringe a little bit, and it'll it'll push the bubble out. So now you have a sealed a sealed unit. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and put our syringe onto our line, onto our bleed valve. All right, then we're going to take our wrench and we're going to loosen that bleed valve. Don't have to do it a lot, just enough to be able to push. And then we're slowly going to start pushing the fluid in. And what this is going to do is it's going to push it all the way through the line up into the master cylinder. So we're going to keep pushing this through until we fill that master cylinder up. All right, so once you get your master cylinder full, you're going to tighten this, uh, this bleeder valve so that it won't suck any more air in. And you can remove it at that point. Okay, so you can see it's still dirty. 
That's because that's the fluid that was in the, in the, uh, the uh, hydraulic clutch line. So we're going to suck it out. Basically we're gonna rinse and repeat is what we're, what, what we're doing here. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. I've got the, uh, the syringe down here. Margaret's up at the top. She's gonna record it pushing the, the fluid through. So here we go. And we're gonna do that until we fill it up again. So she said stop, so we're going to do the same thing we did before, tighten that bleed valve so that no air gets in. Okay, so looking down in there, you can see it's, it's a lot cleaner now than it was. It's still a little cloudy, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, drain it again. Same thing again, we're loosening the bleed valve. Then begin pushing fluid back up. Till Margaret says stop. Stop. Now what you can do is you don't have to actually fill the master cylinder from below. Okay, like I said, you don't have to completely fill it from uh, push push bleeding. You just want to get get all the old stuff out. You want to do that until uh, until it's not uh, opaque or cloudy. I still had a little bit of cloud in there, which means it was still some of the old brake fluid, but now that I've got it all out, I'm going to go ahead and fill it up here. And there is a fill level, so marking in there, so fill it to that point. Okay, now you also may want to pump your clutch a little bit, real easy, and then you'll be able to see if you have air in that line if you've got bubbles or not. And as you can see, as I'm, as I'm pumping it, there's nothing coming out. All right, be sure to put your uh, master cylinder cover back on. Okay, make sure you put your bleed valve cover back on. Okay, and then your outer side cover. Okay, and then we're going to hand tighten those for right now. As you can see, I do have my service manual. Guys, just don't work on your bikes if you don't have a service manual. And that's even for an oil change. Just don't do it. You go get one. It's 60 bucks. You can get them from the dealership, and it's well worth it. So looking at mine, for my bike, my year of my bike, I've got 100 to 120 inch pounds for the transmission outer side cover screw. Okay, so we're going to torque it to the spec. 100, 100 to 120 inch pounds. There you go. All right, did the other side. All right, so that completes the whole process of bleeding a hydraulic clutch on a uh, Harley Davidson touring bike. It takes you about half an hour. It takes a little longer with the video that we're doing. Um, it six dollars is what the uh, the uh, 12 ounce uh, or 12 fluid ounce canister of uh, dot four brake fluid costs. I use about six fluid ounces to flush the system and uh, refill. So it's really super inexpensive uh, to do just once a year and be done with it. It was really great because you, you were able to see the, uh, the the real dirty brake fluid the way it was before and how clean it was after. So that gives you a good indication of how well or how much that fluid gets used inside of that hydraulic clutch line. So again, uh, subscribe to my channel, I appreciate it. And uh, also be sure and visit my uh, website at Ride It Wrench It dot com.